Hello and welcome to another video on Kerbal Space Program. This is just a short video to test the audio and so I'm going to be showing off a very small ship. Uh, the smallest ship that I can build that gets into orbit. It's basically just a jet engine and a lander engine and one fuel tank. Uh, it also has these canards which only serve to provide fuel for the jet engine because you can't connect it directly down like that. So, this is a test of the audio. I have been having some trouble in. Uh, I'm recording this in Linux, and I've been having some trouble getting the audio working. You'll see there's no in game audio, that's because it simply desyncs over time. And uh, I don't know why. I, I've, I've been trying to get it fixed for about a week now and uh, it's simply not working. It's working for older games uh, which are I guess less intensive than Kerbal Space Program but it doesn't work here and uh, well you're not missing much you're only missing rocket sounds and you know what is that worth? Nothing. So we're almost ready to drop the jet engine. There's the moon. We can't go to the moon with this rocket, sadly. Okay, there, there's not enough air for the jet engine to function. So it's time to turn on the lander engine. This engine is actually quite capable. Although it's very small, uh, it has quite a bit of thrust about the same as the nuclear engine but it's much lighter so it's more efficient let's speed it up a bit okay And we are almost in orbit, only about 400 delta V left to burn and we have 700 left. So this ship has enough fuel to go into orbit and then land, probably without a parachute. I don't know, I, ha I haven't tried it but I think uh, it should work. And it's going to circular circularize soon. I hope I can get the sound working so I can do some more let's plays. I, I would like to do Arcanum and uh, Jack the Lions 2 with the mod of course. And also some Kerbal Space Program. I have some more ships to show. They're, uh, they're very small. I like making small ships. I like the challenge of it. I think when the campaign finally comes, uh, making small efficient ships is going to be important. And of course, uh, since I'm running this in Linux, the performance isn't that great. And I need to make small ships, uh, otherwise it doesn't work that well. So you can see we are in orbit now, and uh, we can deorbit. It takes about 55 delta V we have 200 left so that's enough to deorbit and also probably land I'm not sure I leave that up to you so I, I hope you enjoyed this test I hope it works and we'll see you 